Welcome to Prophecy Insights. I am Bro Steph, your watchman. And if you want to connect with me at Twitter, it's the at sign, your watchman. At sign, your watchman to connect with me at Twitter. Welcome to Prophecy Insights. And today, I want to just highlight what's going on in Israel right now that we all should be aware of. You remember when President Trump was in office, his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was responsible to assisting the president in developing the Abraham Accords. And uh, first, Trump moved the embassy, U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv, over to Jerusalem. Then they came up with the uh, Abraham Accords. They rolled it out. And from the time they rolled out the Abraham Accords, many uh, Arab nations, started flocking to the Abraham Accords. The UAE is an example. That big Arab bloc, they uh, signed off on the uh, Abraham Accords. Uh, so did Saudi Arabia. And many other countries did. And so what we are now left with is a foundation for there to be a peace accord for someone to build upon. Now, here's what I think is probably going to take place. Right now, uh, Kushner is in Israel meeting with uh, Arabs and meeting with the uh, Israeli government. And they're discussing and causing there to be a new momentum in the Abraham Accords. And uh, so they're talking about it again. Uh, Jared Kushner is the one promoting it. And I think what's happening here is this could be the peace covenant that the Antichrist will confirm according to Daniel chapter 9. Um, see, the Antichrist, when he comes to power, is not going to create a new peace agreement. The Bible says he will confirm. That word confirm means something is already in play. And he just says, let's do this, and signs off on the confirmation of it. Everybody agrees, and you've got a peace agreement totally, completely in place. This eventually is going to lead to the next great holocaust in Israel, where the Antichrist, according to scripture, will go into the temple, into the Holy of Holies, declare himself to be God. He will cancel the peace agreement. He will stop all sacrificing in the temple and the great Holocaust, greater than the Holocaust in World War II during that time, Hitler's Holocaust. It'll be, I don't, I mean, the Bible says it would be so bad, nothing has ever happened on earth that's going to be equal to what's coming. The Jews are going to be killed like 
I mean, never before hunted down and killed. Christians will be hunted down and killed. It's going to be a horrible time, and that will be during the Great Tribulation that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24. Now, one other thing I want to highlight, and then I'm going to wrap this up, is if you read Psalm 83, it's not really long. Read Psalm 83. And as you're reading it, think of it as the Abraham Peace Accords may be the peace contract that the Antichrist confirms. It's in play. Everything's been going okay. And then all of a sudden, what Psalm 83 talks about starts to happen, where the Jews uh, get caught up because of the Antichrist's anger against God, hatred against God. Got to remember, the Antichrist hates the Jews and hates Christians because he hates God. Remember, the Antichrist is a child of the devil. Satan will go into him, possess him, and Satan hates anything to do with God. You've got to keep that in mind. So when he goes after the Jews, he's really attacking God. He wants to do away with God. Now, you and I know that that's an impossibility, but he is so evil and so caught up in revenge and anger and bitterness and pure hatred, he can't see that what he's doing will never work. God's always a hundred steps ahead of him, always. So he, again, goes to repeat, goes into the temple, declares himself to be God, and then he begins slaughtering the Jews in Zechariah. Zechariah chapters 12 through 14. Uh, it might back up to chapter 10 and read 10 through 14. You'll see where 70% approximately, 75% approximately of the Jews are going to be slaughtered during this time. And then as it starts getting to to a crescendo, the Great Tribulation, three and a half years, the Jews in Israel, all of them, bow their, their knees to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive him as their Messiah. And remember what Jesus warned when he was in the temple and he was at the steps of the temple, he began to weep. And he said, looking at the condition of his people, the Jews, during that time, he said, you will not see me again until you learn to say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. During the Great Tribulation, the Jews will say, Blessed are you, Yeshua. Blessed are you. You are our Messiah. And they'll ask for his forgiveness. He will then come back and return. That, has to happen before the Lord will return at the second coming. So this is where we're at right now in, in what's going on in Israel. Israel's being bombed. They have terrorist attack after terrorist attack right now. They're really, they have a weak government. They're really, really suffering a lot of bad things right now, much like the rest of the world is. But, you know, can you imagine 
be having terror attacks constantly and you never know that the bus you get on might blow up. You just don't know. And you have to live your life in that space where you just don't know what's going to happen day to day. This is what's going on in Israel. And they have the threat of, you know, Russia, the bear has risen up. They don't want to uh, uh, anger Russia. The last thing they need is to have Russia attack them. And so they're trying to walk this tightrope right now between Russia, between terrorism in their own country, having a weak government. There's just a lot going on, and it's very difficult right now for them. But what I want us praying about And I would like you to pray with me when you when when you think about this is ask God, number one, to bless Israel, to bless the Jewish people, to bring peace to Jerusalem. And then um, I would like you to pray and ask God to prepare his people to accept Jesus as their. Messiah. I did that in 1975. I'm Jewish. I accepted Jesus into my life in 1975. And right now, you know, when I used to go into a church, and if the pastor was talking about something out of the Old Testament, and he would say, do we have any Jews in the house? I'd raise my hand. I was the only Jew there in the pews. Then about 1980, five years later, there would be four or five of us. And then by the 90s, and and like now, you're in a church that the pastor says, I'd like to see a show of hands of the Jews that we have uh, that are born again uh, fellowshipping with us. And we raise our hands, and now there's 40 or 50 of us in the pews. So God is growing the last day remnant that he promised uh, that he would have that believe in Yeshua prior to the great revival of all Jews in Israel coming to Jesus. And so there are 30,000 Messianic Jews in Israel right now. And and that, that part of our family, meaning all of us that believe in Jesus, that part of our family is exponentially growing now. And God is getting his people ready for the great Jewish revival in Israel that's coming. But I just wanted to bring to your attention that the day is coming when Israel is going to be severely put under persecution The wrath of God is going to fall on the entire world, and it's going to have a very detrimental effect on his people that rejected their Messiah. That's coming. Read, once again, Psalm 83. That's, I believe, the setup to what we could be looking at. Now, I know Bill Salas and some others think that that war... Uh, that is coming is going to happen before probably the Ezekiel 38 campaign. Some believe the Psalm 83 happened in 1947, 46, 47. So my feeling is this. If you read Psalm 83, and then you look at the Arab nations that come against Israel. There's 10 of them. Where have we heard that before? 10. A 10 nation confederacy comes against Israel. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, the book of Revelation talks about that. Daniel, uh, na, uh, the book of Daniel, chapters. Uh, 4 through 12 talk about that. So have yourself a great Lord's Day. I'm going to uh, end this uh, update. I, Like I said, I just wanted to reach out to you 
and give you some unique information, things that are happening in Israel right now. It's time to remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and pray for the Jewish people. God bless you. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.